The Outer Limits, 1963, Season 2, Episode 2. Cold Hands, Warm Heart. Man, the most brilliant planet in our solar system is Venus, named the goddess of love. It's closer to Earth than any other planet. Until the last half of the 20th century, is this planet surrounded mystery enveloped in a blanket of clouds and steam. Because its surface temperature was believed to be several times that of Earth's, it is not possible for, possible for man to reach Venus and come back until one day somebody did it, cheering man. This was a, a, an opportunity. Five days of return for orbiting Venus, the well to see Colonel Jeff Barton, a man of the hour. Hardly had he returned to Earth from his brilliantly successful first step in the project. The minds of our leading scientists and statesmen began to explore the next step, namely the ultimate colonization of Mars. All of us who behold Jeff Button are pressed, I must say awed, by the kind of calm and inner courage of this man who will head out and carry out what is probably the greatest adventure of all time. Next day, and they had the opportunity to hear this hero as he described his voyage. Now that we've been able to visit Venus, we're closer to our ultimate goal, Mars. Next stage of planet Vulcan, planet Vulcan, and none of us will rest until it's completed. I look forward to resting in one of the houses we built on Mars as part of the project. I'd like to thank you for your prayers, your good thoughts, and your wonderful down to earth welcome Paul Plows. Think I think they love you as much as I do. Oh it's good to have you back again. I was getting awfully tired of my own cooking. Sizzling, all right. Can I get the salad bite? Thanks, Jeff. Jeff, man, there's nothing wrong with your touching set. Do not attempt to just the picture. The controlling transmitter mission. We we'll control the horizontal, we we'll control the vertical. We change the focus of soft lower shove and into crystal clarity. The next hour, sit quietly, and we'll control all you see in here. You're about to participate in a great adventure. You're about to experience the awe and mystery that reaches from the mind in the mind to the outer limits. Now it's here, Jeff. Over there. Here they are. How's life as a general colonel? Should we how was life as a colonel, General? In two words, way out. General, who is involved in Project Vulcan? Several men, specialists in their fields. You get their names? Well, Venus, definitely not sustain human life. I can't answer that. Isn't that why you went? No, no, Venus is near Earth. It's a mystery. You can't take chances when you plan to decolonize Mars. Will you know by the committee? Will you know by the committee hearing next week? I tend to. He won. Won't if he stays here. Are you dressing the committee card, General? General Barton will do that. He knows more about it. Project Vulcan is his baby. You mean colonizing Mars exactly? Why well, if they turn you down? We might raffle off, General Barton. Here's... Hey, here's the General. Hey, well, congratulations, General. Welcome home, come here. I want to show you something. There she is, the new space environment test chamber. We finished her while you were cavorting in outer space. What will she do? To seven, 275 above and create the vacuum equivalent of 700,000 feet altitude. Jeff, I've noticed something on your fault about vibration. Did it happen again? I thought, but didn't know. I discussed that, that with, with the construction. It's curious to see that vegetation. Your camera's picked up. Did any equipment fail when we lost contact? I'm afraid I wasn't paying much attention at the time. I was a matter of chill. Maybe I'm allergic to planet Earth. Not until after the committee meeting. Let's get to work. See you later, Jeff. Go for it. Right, pour it on. You mean in, not on. You rate a coffee consumption is astounding. Fuel, sweetie. I've got a long way to go. How long? All the way till next Tuesday. What are you doing? Gonna figure out how much coffee to buy. Let's see your time of flight is six days and there is there are twenty four hours a day. The rate of fuel consumption is about a gallon an hour. Well that would 
make a total feel too much. Crazy, but I love you anyway. Hey, watch it. That's hot. It's lukewarm to me. Thanks, honey. I've got to, a lot of work to do. Good night. Sleep well. Right, Jeff, you got that down? See if it's iced coffee. You sound like, like my mother. I'm not your mother. You've been away from me a long time, terribly long. A lonesome time. You haven't come home to me yet. And I love you. I love you more than anything in this world. More than anything in all those other worlds, too. You're the only world I can discover over and over again. Every time I can, I come home to you. Every time I'm close to you. You're the best of all possible worlds. Did you say you have to go back to work, huh? You sure of that? Uh-huh. Think you can? Uh-huh. Go on, get out of here. Read it. Mr. Moon Mars. A Acorus, Satan, Ju- Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, Venus, all of our pla- you, planets and stars. What do you call yourself? Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what my husband said? He loves me better than you. I'm his favourite world. You better remember that. I'm his best world. What are you doing? Why are you turning up the heat? I'm cold. Why else? I don't understand. Why are you cold? Revoking him. When did you think? Why did you think the other night? How do I know? Summer flu? Hadn't got time to worry. Six days before the hearing. Hardly time to write notes. Good night. Well, go on, get dressed. And medics check you out, don't they? Oh, it is. Come on, answer in English, yes. Why haven't they seen them about, why haven't you seen them about this? Maybe I'm just used to you, you just used to you, Mike. They're old friends, I'm not a specialist, Jeff, I'm tired. A brain is too small for the job. Baby is psychosomatic. Stop trying to be your own doctor. Go to your medics. Give me something. Just for a few days. You're too dangerous. Go to your med- oh, medic. I will later. Hey, hey, Jeff. Did something happen to you you don't want them to know about? Don't ask so many questions. Give me some kind of pill. What a job to do. Keep me going. Not until we do some blood tests, no blood, no pill, right? In the meantime, keep warm and get plenty of rest. I wouldn't ask for additional work if I didn't think necessary. Nothing in your reports indicates faulty cell grouping. Give me something to go on. Just do it. But are we working together or against each other? I'm sorry, you didn't mean that. I know you under strain, Jeff. It's hot air in here, isn't it? It's hot in here, isn't it? The air condition working? No. Give me some good reason. I take the capsule part. I bare hands. No how. I talk to you later, right? No wonder it didn't work and it turned off. Fan screams. Oh, wake up. Jeff, wake up. Wake up. You're right, Jeff. You're home now. Wake up, wake up. What happened? You're having a nightmare. Your hands are ice, cold as ice. I've got to get some more. I'll get you, get some more milk. No, no, never mind. What are you doing? I'm going to take your temperature. Who said Mike said open? All right, all right, better. Mm, it's okay. My hum? What does it say? These photos don't show me a thing. Phil, what kind of hesitation would you expect to find on Venus? From what little we know, none. Precision and conversation the service. Could there be a tall, tall, lush growth? Thin leaves, long, slender, immensely long, wavy, reaching to the air? Certainly. Different from what I expected. What's the matter? Short of breath. Oh, these jolly strokes. Wherever they stand up, the altitude gets me. Ken, did you talk to the medics about it? They kept, kept tapping on me. I just need rest, Jeff. Mike called. But he want me to call him back? No. He wants to see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Jeff, Jeff, what is it? Nothing. Oh, it's not nothing. I'm not unconscious. I'm not blind. Is something serious? Is it something serious? And honey, remember my total inaugural flight? First of all, rule flight. Did this when I came back? And then satellite duty. Effects that lasted several months. My body adapts. And to wait with us. Conditions in space. He adapts. I get back to work. There, this was a much longer flight. I'd take a lot, little longer to get over it. That's all. Why did you see Mike instead of the space doctors? It'd take too much time. They wanted someone to give me a lift. I don't like it. You shouldn't drive yourself like that when you're sick. I just, it's just for a few more days. For what? Some wild scream? 
It would be just a headline to me if I wasn't married to it. You know, I married a man, not a headline. A man with certain peculiarities. And the boy he studied how least thou. He said he was always up, up, looking at birds. He's always, he made wings and jumped off a barn and he broke his neck. That's how much he wanted to be a bird. He decided to become a bird, started higher, by higher and higher, August 6th, 96. Remember, one day he broke for the thermosphere, right from the stratosphere. Right then, for the first time, he understood the purpose of his life. It was a lead away, new wells, new life. Now, now no edge. That's the headline, Anne. That's the Project Vulcan. That, just a few more days, that's all. And then, a long rest. Hmm? Promise, promise. Well, go on, go, get back to work, slave driver. No, bones, Venus One to vocal control. Do you read me over radio? i control the Venus One. Read you loud and clear. Approaching moon, moving to dark side, over. Venus One to vocal control, do you read? Over, vocal control, read you loud and clear. Retract the orbit, you know, objective. At 40,000 feet, confirm, over. Right on the nose, dropping down now. Ultimeter, reading 30,000 feet and dropping. Confirm, confirm, over, affirmative. Attack you with 30,000 over Venus and dropping. What is it? Is it, what is your static study again, General? I have a radio failure. Please go ahead. We read your external temperatures at 440 degrees. Correct affirmative. Getting pretty dim in here. I wish somebody would put out on the street lights. You're not going much further. You pull out at 20,000 feet, you peak. 20,000 feet makes certain you're recording carbon dioxide and oxygen content of the atmosphere. High pitched drone, vengeance as well. Why, no, Jeff. No, you're too close, Static. Climb out. Climb, hissing. High pitched, combined, screams, man. Solid, jam solid. You don't get. In there soon, it's gonna fry. I've got to call the fire department. Wait, I think he's coming. Coming. <coughs> the bit again. He must have passed out. Maybe a heart attack. The steam valve. Turn it on. What happened? It right. Cost that I had a steam valve. I had a temperature up to past 150 degrees. Didn't bother me. Didn't bother me a bit. I didn't, didn't work, didn't desire, desire, go on. My mind warm, wondered. I had a horrible dream. What about? I don't remember. I just know it. it was horrible. What's happening to me? Why am I so dreadfully weak? I don't know. I tell you, your blood count shows you hardly. Any white cells left in the red cell veil. Disordered, so are your platelets. How come your body changing? Something's happening to you. Something I can't. Explain. Never seen anything like it before. What about this? What is it, mate? Look at it all. Look at it. At it. Look at it. <coughs> Touch it. Scrape it. Do something. You're a doctor. Do something. You better see your people, Jeff. They're space medics. Go right away. Don't waste a minute. Let's go together. I don't need you. I'd go by myself. Okay, but you promised one thing. You see him run away right now and take this with you. Thanks, Mike. Jeff, I realise this was a great sum of money we were asking for. I also realise this sort of your responsibility. People determine whether the money we are asking for will be wasted on an impractical dream. It will not be wasted. Unless you consider knowledge wasteful. No edge knowledge edge progress. No that progress we still be in the, some periods of it, darkness, scrambling about like animals. Struggling only for struggling only for survival and just grass and fighting like animals against it, anything they threaten our survival. We cannot put a price on the knowledge that moved us this far from the jungle. Many men have risked their lives together and absorbed me. Says this knowledge, man. Many men have died. He did not renovate their lives in terms of money. He spent what they had themselves and money lives willingly, eagerly. Why they can't? Then they can't tell you why. Jeff, Jeff, what's happening to you? Oh God, heavens, Jeff! Something terrible is happening to your hand, Jeff. Come back to me. 
Come back to me. I'll tell get the doctor. I'll call Mike. Jeff, Jeff, oh Jeff. Scream, Jeff, Jeff. Ah, oh, tired of screaming. One moment, Jim. Sorry, sir, my oldest little fellow. Now, no. Give me security, quick. I double. Jeff stopped. It looks like he tried to destroy everything that those files. And it's easy now, Jeff. It's just a tranquilizer. Won't hurt you. What is it, doctor? I haven't the think slightest idea. I must, might ask you to keep quiet about this. Of course, did something happen to you, Mike? How should I know? Man comes to me, a friend, and said, please, Mike, help me. Give me a skill. You should have sent that him to us. I did. He said there was a time, is it time? He had to finish the job. When, what did you find out? More than I know anything about. Lab report, blood analysis. One human be- being named Jeff Burton. Only oh, test says his blood isn't human. There is an animal, a fish, a red towel. Means it doesn't fit into our blood type. No, it exists. Fantastic, I sent him over to you early today. He would tell us to him, be all out. What will you do with him? Don't know, start making tests. What kind of tests? I'm not sure. I, do, I have nothing to go on. No precedent, president, president. Do you mean you don't know how to stop this thing? We don't know what it is. We need to start at the beginning. What beginning? I'm afraid we don't know even know that. Will you go back to Venus? Will you do that? What he did? He don't know what he did. He left a prescriptive flight pattern. This is God of Achesia. He lost contact for eight minutes, twelve seconds. Well then, talk to him. Find out. What do you think? We must, might try. He's under heavy sedation now. Full of uh, bar- bar- rituals. Yes, yes. He, he, he may answer questions. Venus 1. Do you read me? Venus 1. This welcome control. Jeff, come in, Jeff. France is a general. Colonel Vine. Born, Jeff. Be read. You're come under. Be read that you've got under the cloud cover. You're not going much further, Jeff. You climb out of 20,000 feet. Repeat, 20,000 feet, ground. Now, come on. Come in, Venus 1, Jeff. What's happening? We do, we no, do not receive you. What's happening? Screams, Jeff, Jeff, no, you're home. You're home now, darling, you're home. Jeff, I was so happy when you came home. I remember you said you were my best, in my best world. I looked at those in the sky and said, he loves me, darling, he loves you, I'm his favourite world. Oh, Jeff, Jeff, come back to me now. Don't let them take you away. Iron Anne, where are you? I'm here, darling, strange, strange. Gertner's had to go closer, had to go. I said when the sound begins, the spring stared at me through the bolt door. The sound is doing something to me. It's got in, inside of me. And, and, I'm so cold and holding you, darling, your hands. Feel so good, dearest. Now, now, this severed means seems effective. I've got a problem here. For gracious, potion, proportions committee meets tomorrow. What do I tell them? Is that, is that, that's all you care about? I care about him. But we both care about the Project Vulcan. It was his baby. He made you feel. He made you feel it could be done. That's what the Congress says. Confidence. The feeling it could be done. Without him, Project Vulcan is dead. Well, maybe it should be. Are you hearing, saying what Jeff is dead? I know that Pogba Vulcan meant to be him. I shared it with him. He wasn't afraid of the unknown. He didn't give up when there was no one to follow him. He tried something. He tried. Why aren't you helping him instead of buying him, wearing him? When Jeff came into my office after speeding bath, the temperature was almost normal. How do you know that he didn't cause the transmissions? We don't know anything. You want to experiment with the skin? Okay, I want to work with the mind. I need blood for a transfusion. And we put him under sedation a lot. In lots of heat, and you, you should know, should be near him. What time you talk to him, pull him back on it, him back where that, whatever's gone into mine, where the nearest steam plant. About what about space environment change? But excellent. Get ready, Ava and hissing moans speak. I'm here with you, darling. I'm waiting for you, Jeff. I'm thinking something you once told me. I see you as a boy, Jeff, watching leaves falling, always looking up at the birds. I wish I could have been seen, seen, been with you then, Jeff. I could make those wings. I, I would have, 
I will have helped make those wings you fly off the barn with. I wish I could have picked you up when you fell. I wish you might let me go in. It's too hot. You couldn't, I couldn't stay at 250 degrees. By degrees, we're driving anywhere, doctor. And as slightest as I did, completely makes it 10 hours. But postponement incident. General, don't do anything about postponement yet. We're home every minute till then. No, all right, it's midnight. We have all, we have until 8 o'clock and groans at the Talk and talk. Heard for you dictating your speech. Heard you di- dictating your speech, Jeff. It's wonderful. It's so proud of you. I thought, this is no ordinary man. This is a man. A dream. He's making that dream come true. No stop go on. I thought this man had made himself part of the history of all people. Of all times, a man who was a boy learned to fly into the future. My husband, who owes a size, he hasn't stirred yet. Just normal sleep, Doctor. There's not much left. Timeless, normal week. What does that mean? Don't suppose yourself up. Jeff's body craves heat, so he's getting what he needed. Artie wakes up, the general may gets what he needs, or may not. But Jeff's body can't maintain normal home in temperature. But now, even now, he's not so perspiring. Artie is out of the air for a while. Air for a while. Anyone got any coffee out there? Hello, my darling husband. Hello, wife. Oh, how good you sound. I heard you plan. Heard every word. I joined the other members committee. I'm giving you a welcome. This country is much to be thankful to you for. I have much to which to be thankful. Don't you want to hear the speech? I heard it. Think we get the money? Do you see the ways they smile at him? They both love him. He's so brave and handsome, so right. Yes, I think. They give him everything he wants to set, Doctor. It is this way it always be, heat of strength and sedation. Hold him back this thing for the rest of his life. Who knows, Anne? Oh, poor Jeff. Laughter, what's wrong? You hear them laughing? Why? He held up his hand for everybody else to see. He asked if they wondered why he was wearing gloves. He said they had been all, they had been all these, been all these years flying their airplanes. Face it's poking risk. The first night you let you let home safe and work, he feels a pot of boiling soap on his hands. Nata, they the fist listen to every word, General. They didn't they don't ask a question. Sighed, I think we made it. I think they're going to be give us the money. Every penny we asked for. I love that so much much. Love you so much. Say it again, baby. Again, again, I repeat it back to you every time. But you've got to respect me. It's not every husband who can do it. To lose, loosen a zillion billion. Jeff, what? Well, you're right. You, you, have, you, you wipe your face, perspiration. It's warm in here, Jeff. Very warm. Yes, it's warmed up, isn't it? Mike is coming around. He's coming around by himself. Hello. Gonna hunt fast. There it, this is it. This is, yeah. That's right. I went two poke rooms on the fourth floor. Call the air, said General my Officer. Tell him I want the top men in pathology, anthropology, toxicology, toxicology, seminology, dermatology, man of eternal search for knowledge, which leads to dark and dangerous places. Sometimes it demands risk. Not only those who are searching, but the others who love them. Love them. These, in their own special way, know the knowledge. It's never wasted, nor is it over. It over. And now we'll return you control to your television set. To you till next week, at the same time, control voice will take you to the outer limits.